All right, guys, today we got a 2014 Chevy Volt, and it's electric and engine powered vehicle. The battery needs to be replaced. So what we're gonna do is, we had to get in the trunk here. The trunk has few screws. So what we're gonna do is, if you wanna jump it, you have access over here direct on the battery, okay? You could jump start this vehicle from right here. You have a negative and you have a positive. But instead of jumping, if you need to replace the battery and your battery is more than two, three years old, what you need to do is get a number 10 millimeter here. Well, this cover is gonna be on the top, so you do need to pick up this cover. And can you help me on the side? Okay, I'm gonna have somebody hold this for me because it keeps falling. So we're gonna take off 10 here. Number 10 here. And there's a number 10 here. And there's a number. So I'm using a deep socket here. So all four bolts will come off. Oh, going the wrong way. There you go. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this guy up. Well, let's get this guy out of there. Okay, I'm gonna lift this guy up. And then we should be able to, okay, we gotta have a bolt stuck here between the nut. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver. We got this nut stuck between the bolt. It won't allow us to pick up this guy. So once you have it loose, you should be able to lift this whole thing up. Just like that. Okay, go up straight, and this whole thing will come out. And we dropped the cover. You can let that sit there now. We got this guy. So we got some type of a blow motor over here. Not a blow motor, yeah, blow motor. I think this is what gives you air. And uh, but we're gonna replace this battery. So this battery is very simple to replace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little guy. So there's a retainer here. And we're gonna take off the 13 millimeter here. And we're gonna take out this vacuum line here. This is the vent pipe here. We're gonna put that back in later on. But the problem here is we need to save the power on this battery. We don't wanna lose any power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hot wire the whole vehicle from the up front. So we got a small little jump box. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give a power to this vehicle so we don't lose the memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this, uh, we're gonna look for a positive in here and we have a ground here. You're gonna squeeze here and squeeze here. You're gonna get this cover open and we don't have a positive in here, but I do wanna keep the battery power alive. So what we're gonna do is we have a ground here and right over here, you're gonna open this little clip right here and you can put a positive here. Can you hold this camera at the same time for me? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our jump box. We're gonna just let it sit here softly. We're gonna take this here and we're gonna connect this there. So this thing has power all times now. Even if we disconnect the battery, we're not gonna lose any memory now. Okay, so I got me a number 13 here. What we're gonna do is, let's show them over here. See that bolt right there? That's what holds the battery down. We're gonna take off this bolt, put it to the side. This little guy is gonna come out. Let's move it to the side. Next, we're gonna switch up our sockets. We're gonna disconnect the 10 here. Just losing it for now. And a number 10 here. And your terminals should be loose. Okay, there you go. Okay, since we put the jumper in the front, we got power here, so you wanna take this off but we don't want to lose. We don't want to touch this anywhere in the body. So we're gonna have this sit over here and we can pull out our battery. Simple, I'm gonna go get the new battery. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new battery, we're gonna stick it right here. Positive is on this side. So what we're gonna do is bring our light over here. You wanna put the negative in the first, very simple. And then we're gonna take our positive and stick that on. Okay, let's tighten up our negative. Make sure it's not a loose connection, double check it. And we're gonna tighten up the positive. Very simple and easy, okay? Okay, let's look down here now. We got our battery base here. I've lost it. Huh? the video. Okay, and then we're gonna put our strap on. Take our number 13 bolt here. Catch the threads. And we're gonna lock up the bolt. Do not forget to put in this wet line here. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure everything is tight. Battery's in place. And you're all set. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the rest of the covers back together. Now we can come back over here. We're going to remove our negative. We're going to remove our positive. And we're gonna close this back up and we're all done let's put this to the side and we're gonna go back into the trunk double check your work make sure this is in make sure this is in and we're gonna take our cover here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna stick it back to the same spot where we originally had it and put in the four bolts you're all done put in the covers and bada bing bada boom you're all set okay we got the engine running on this vehicle so it's nice and good and uh, lock this up Lock this up. Lock this up. And lock that up. So remember, if you want to jump start your vehicle, this is the place to do it because all the other spots, if you try to get it from the front, you're not gonna have a good, you're not gonna have a strong connection there. So let's pull out all my all of my tools and close this down. And we're all set and ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next one.